sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. Welcome to this episode of Am I the Asshole? Our first one is from VividWorth8581. Am I the asshole for being pissed that my daughter-in-law won't accommodate my allergies so I'm not going to her dinner? I am very, very frustrated. My son has been married to my daughter-in-law for three years now. I have always made extra dishes that didn't include meat to accommodate her. No matter how much it was a pain to do, I always made sure she had options to eat when I hosted or she was over. She's a vegetarian and at one point tried to go vegan. My son and her never hosted due to living in a small apartment, but that changed since they have just bought a home. They're having a dinner this week and I called her to remind her I'm allergic to nuts. She then informed me that she doesn't have time and to bring my own food. She told me that she cooks a lot with different nuts and she can't make adjustments to her menu. This is where I am at being a jerk. I told her I will not be going and neither will my husband. That I have accommodated her for years and not once have I made her bring her own food. This started an argument where she thinks I'm being unreasonable. My husband is on my side, but my son and her is very upset. Edit, stop downvoting people who say there are allergies that are not life-threatening. They are correct. My allergy is not life-threatening. If it was going to kill me, I wouldn't be okay with any of the dishes having nuts. I just asked for one that I can eat. I can still be at a table with nuts. It's fine. This actually personally annoys me. Allergic reactions are a spectrum from very mild to kill you. Also, for everyone saying allergies get worse every time people have it are incorrect. Some allergies can be improved through exposure therapy, which is usually done at a doctor's. My daughter has literally done that with her shellfish allergy. I look at it like if you've always been so accommodating, but if she's 100% unwilling to accommodate you, then yeah, you shouldn't have to bring your own food if they're hosting an event and having food there. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I definitely don't think you're the asshole. This next one is by WildStick5998. Am I the asshole for accepting the prize money for winning a game I didn't know I was playing? So I, 21 female, went to my granddad's 80 male house last week and he handed me a jar full of cash with my name on it. He told me to count it and it came to 3200 pounds. I asked him what it was for and he explained the rules of the game he'd been playing with the whole family. From the 1st of December 2023 to the 31st of December 2023, Every time a member of the family visited him, he'd put 100 pounds in the jar for every hour they spent with him. At the end of the month, the person who spent the most time with him would receive all the money in their jar, and the others would get nothing. He obviously didn't tell anybody that he was doing this, so that no one spent extra time with him to get the money. I won his game by 600 pounds. So, six hours more than the person who came second, my uncle. At first, I didn't want to accept the money, only because I didn't think it was right to play games with people without them knowing, especially not your family. But after a while, he convinced me to take my prize money because I earned it. When I got home, I told my parents about the money and explained his game to them. I told my mom where she came on the scoreboard, Fourth, and she was understandably upset at her father for making us unknowingly compete with each other. Then she told the rest of the family via group chat. So now pretty much my whole family is mad at my granddad for doing this, but also me for accepting the money. He is an old man and he's not exactly a millionaire, so they think I should have refused the money and confronted him for what he did. I think that if he was willing to play this game, then he obviously has no problem with giving the money away, and he did insist on me taking it. Also, he's always been a weird guy, so although I don't agree with what he did, I'm not too surprised. 
So I don't think I should have to start an argument with him about it. Edit, sorry, I didn't make it clear enough. This took place between December 1st and 31st of last year, so only lasting one month. Each person who visited him had a separate jar, so my jar had 3,200 pounds in it because I spent 32 hours with him. Other people had different amounts in their jars, but I only received what was in mine. Another edit, thank you for all the responses so far. I've seen a lot of comments about how his game was unfair because some people have more free time. That's completely true, although in this case, don't assume that just because I'm young, I have more free time. I have a full-time job, a partner, and a small side business to run. I have significantly less free time than most of my family, apart from maybe my uncle who works slightly more hours than me. The majority of my family work part-time or not at all, and only my aunt has a young kid to attend to, but she doesn't work either. I'm not saying this game was fair, but I think most of my family would not have trouble finding the spare time to spend with him. Some would just rather be doing something else. While it is kind of messed up to play games with people that don't even know they're being part of a game, in this situation I feel it's completely logical because yes, if you told everybody what you're doing, they're all gonna fight over trying to spend time with Grandad just so they can get the money, not because they genuinely want to be there. And our final one is from Critical Hedgehog 79 Am I the asshole because I left without saying goodbye after finding out about inheritance? Am I the asshole here? Was visiting my dad and siblings in another country for the holidays and I didn't say goodbye to my father or brother and his family after discovering they worked together to sign everything over to my brother and giving me and my two sisters 1% of father's assets was visiting family with my husband and children after not having seen them in almost two years. The day before we were scheduled to leave, I had a sit down with my elderly father to discuss plans for his estate after passing. This estate, built by him and my mother before she passed four years ago, consists of eight figures worth of commercial and residential property. He said he would give me and my sister some cash, 1% of what the properties are worth, and give everything else to my brother since it's tradition. We are from a Middle Eastern background. My brother did work in the family business since college and also has benefited greatly from it, living in multi-million dollar home, etc. The biggest part of the portfolio, a strip mall, was because the previous owner was a friend of mine who was selling it and decided to sell to my family because of our friendship. My sisters and I, who are older than our brother, worked alongside our parents during the building of their businesses and during lean times. We did the grunt work as preteens and teens. Additionally, we did a lot of the caregiving for our mother when she was suffering from a terminal illness that robbed her of all of her body's ability. I am shocked and dismayed to say the very least. I understand my brother helped in running the businesses, but he did more management, etc. Not anything customer facing or manual labor, the way my sisters and I did. I understand that no one is owed an inheritance, but this is beyond the pale. We have been good daughters. Because I was so upset, I packed up my kids and bags and left without saying goodbye or anything. My dad got upset that I left without saying bye to her father. I mean, given how things played out, I, I probably would have left under the same circumstances, so I can't really fault you for how you ended up packing up and leaving. Especially considering you spent a good amount of time helping your parents build those businesses and you just get stiffed in the end. You're definitely not the asshole. Alright, that's enough stories for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Am I the Asshole? If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching. 
Thanks to my patrons and super thanks contributors. Have a great day and stay safe out there.